Today I will be looking into something that has not been tapped properly uh, within the Indian market and that is weightlifting shoes and I am talking about proper Olympic weightlifting and powerlifting shoes. So whenever we look at these shoes all we think about is brands like Innovate, uh, Nike, Adidas, Reebok, Bentley, Risto, Antas from China. So all of these brands are expensive. Uh, you will not get any of these weightlifting shoes for less than a price of at least 7,000 to 8,000 bucks. And uh, when you look at Nike and Adidas, they're not available in India. So you'll have to get them imported, whether you focus on the Romalios, whether you focus on the Addy Powers and all of the big boys of weightlifting shoes. So today I'll be uh, reviewing an Indian brand which actually makes weightlifting shoes. I wasn't aware of this. And uh, I've actually, when, when I actually got in contact with them, I bought a pair of shoes. I was very happy with the performance. So I contacted them regarding the review. Okay, and they sent me another model for free. So thank you to RXN for that. These are the two models of RXN weightlifting shoes. Uh, the white, they don't exactly have names, but these are RXN weightlifting shoes. Uh, this is the black and red, and this is the white and red. Uh, so if you see these are both uh, different looking models built a little differently as well first we'll be looking at the looks I would find this very cool looking I mean to be very honest for uh, the looks of it it's pretty cool to me so I would say I would definitely give it a three and a half out of five when it comes to looks uh, the features You'll see that it has a proper raised heel, like a proper weightlifting shoe. This is 0.8 inches, so it will actually give you a good rebound. It will it will not absorb pressure. It will give you a good rebound, and it will also make sure that you stay upright if you don't have enough ankle mobility while squatting. So the posture will be straight, and you will be getting a rebound when you're getting out of the hole from the squat. Uh, the soles are made out of wood, though. so if you hear this. You can, or you can make out that this is wood here. So when it's wood, you can understand that the rebound will be will be very sound, and you will be getting a good uh, base for your squats, right? Even for your bench. Found this to be again very mainstream, but very uh, let's just say comfortable, because when I wore the shoe, we have the lace system as well as the buckle to clamp and the. The hook here is made of metal, so it's it's definitely going to be long lasting. The third thing that I'm looking for here is the value for money, because as you will notice, all of those uh, weightlifting shoes are very pricey, very expensive. You cannot believe the fact that this costs you two thousand bucks. A weightlifting shoe for two thousand bucks. That is the entire. USP of these shoes so when you get these kinds of looks and the performance with a 2000 buck shoe uh, I would definitely give it I would definitely give it a 5 on 5 when it comes to value for money so I've worn each of them on squat days as well as on bench days and the performance that they have provided is immense so I'm very happy with what I'm getting in terms of the performance of the shoe this advantage I find with this shoe is that uh, you will first of all struggle with sizes because uh, if you're wearing a size 7, a size 8 is going to fit you and they very rarely manufacture sizes of 11 and 12 so that is one of the bottlenecks. The other bottleneck being that as the sole is made out of wood, uh, you need to understand that if it gets wet in rain or you step into puddles while wearing this even though you won't step out wearing a weightlifting shoe which generally you in the gym and then goes back into the gym bag but by chance if it gets wet there are high chances that if the sole covering is not waterproof enough uh, the sole uh, and the hardness of the sole is going to vanish this is just speculation from my side 
and the third thing is I haven't really tested out the longevity of this yet so I can't comment on that because I've got these for what long 10 days anyone who wants uh, weightlifting shoes for cheap uh, this is definitely something that you can go for and yeah so I guess this is another example of make in India and uh, I would definitely recommend this I'll be seeing you